M is one of those movies um, that I've seen the, the case and, and cover and poster all over and never watched until Greg Argander actually picked it to review this week. It's the film directed by Fritz Lang. This is the guy who did Metropolis. This movie was uh, released in 1931. It's a German movie and basically follows the plot of... Uh, in Berlin, there's a spate of uh, child killings uh, carried out by Peter Law, which is terrorising the city. And all levels of kind of society are, are descending upon each other, trying to find out who the child killer is. And it, it's very much... A, a very paranoid film. I've literally only just finished watching it and I wanted to do this review straight afterwards of like initial reactions, mainly because I'm not going to get time to film this review at any other point. What I really dig about this movie, now you have to remember 1931, this is before uh, Nazis were in power, this is before the, the National Socialist Party actually t took power, but you can clearly see the the groundwork that led to them coming into power. Now, the the theme of M is that society really takes the law into its own hands. It's kind of sick of the way Germany's been run. And, you, you know, they, they take the law into their own hands. So when Peter Law is captured, he, you know, at first they're not going to send him to a court of law because the general public want to, to take the law into their own hands. And it really does reflect that attitude in Germany at the time that it really allowed Hitler to come into power. They they were sick of the way the country was run and were desperate, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures and that's why Hitler came into power. And, I mean, obviously that didn't really work out for them, but it's interesting to see the context of this movie and how the groundwork was really laid for that to happen. The, the film, what I think it does really well is the sense of paranoia throughout the film. And it really does, once the, it is apparent that there is a serial child killer on the loose, everybody kind of turns you know, turns on each other and, and suspects each other and suspects their friends, neighbours have been this child killer and they'll be walking down the street and say, you're the murderer, you know, get him, he's the murderer. And I, I find that quite fascinating and, you know, that, that whole paranoid feeling and again, you know, that obviously came into play once World War Two was happening, Nazis, you know, looking for spies and things like that and it's kind of got that eerie almost foreshadowing of events to come in Germany in, in that time and I, I really found that fascinating but uh, another thing that I found quite interesting with the film is the the theme of whistling uh, the the killer Peter Law whistles the Olsen Towers theme tune whenever he's going to kill a child and people are constantly whistling in the street to get people's attention and it's it's very much again the whole whistleblower aspect of life in Germany at this time that feeds into the film and I think provides it with a very interesting layer Peter Law's performance is definitely very eerie. He has the craziest eyes I think I've ever seen and he's very unnerving. Now, what I think is quite brave of Fritz Lang is to actually attempt to make us sympathise with the character who is a child killer. Once he's captured by society, by a group of crooks who were attempting to rob a bank at the time when they kind of stumble upon him... He, you know, begs for his life. He he really does. And he says, I demand to be seen by, you know, a, a real court of justice. And they say, you know, you, you gave up those rights when you started murdering children and we're going to execute you. And, you know, it, it really is... They try to make you sympathise with him and you almost forget that this guy is a child killer. You know, he's a, a cold-blooded murderer. And you, you almost want him to get away, but, you know... I think it's quite brave of the director to, to take that approach and try and make us sympathise with who is essentially an evil character. And, you know, attempt to paint him as not evil. Maybe he's not in control of his own actions. Um, and, and this film, you know, a lot of serial killer films, the, the staples of the genre don't do this. They don't try and humanise the killer. And to say that this was made probably about 60 years before serial killer films really started to take over in popular culture. The fact that it tries to humanise the killer is a very brave move and, and way ahead of its time. So I have to say I really enjoyed M. I am a fan of film noir and it's, it's shot beautifully and has that whole film noir feel to it. It's shot in black and white of course and you know it plays with shadows and light and, and things like that and it's a very beautiful movie to look at and looks very nice on Blu-ray considering it's like 80 years old. I really did enjoy this movie. It may be a bit overlong and this is the actual restored print. I picked this up 
for the purposes of this review. And there are certain scenes that have been added which don't have any sound because they obviously didn't get around to recording it, either that other recording was lost. Uh, and I feel like these scenes really didn't need to be added back in. Although, um, I, you know, I, I did thoroughly enjoy the film and I, I think for a film of its era, I do think it was ahead of its time and really you can see its influence in, in modern films, like especially films like Memories of Murder and Zodiac, serial killer films like that, really do take a, a big leaf out of M's book. And for, for any fans of those movies, if you watch M, you will definitely get that same sense of unease that you got from those movies, and you'll probably pick up little moments which harken back to M. So in that respect, it's a very influential movie, very enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. I watched it with my friend Laura, and she really enjoyed it. We both enjoyed, like, Peter Law's performance and the whole sense of paranoia throughout the film. It was kind of an uneasy watch, but a rewarding one nonetheless. So I thoroughly recommend M.